Okay, time now for our top story on Face the Nation this Wednesday evening. What should India do to get hold of the perpetrators of the worst terror crime in our country? Every day, there is new evidence now of involvement of elements based in Pakistan. The Pakistani ambassador to the United Nations has given an assurance that the parent body of the lashkar e taiba the militant outfit accused of carrying out the terror strikes, will be banned if the UN were to ask for it. Atish Abhi has more on that. Governments that sponsor terror are as guilty as the terrorists and will be held to account. He may be a lame duck, but the man who launched the war against terror cannot be taken lightly even now. And the fallout? Pakistan's Prime Minister Gilani has now acknowledged the link between the Jamaat ud dawa and the Lashkar-e-Taiba. Lashkar-e-Taiba is a banned Jamaat. If their members are Jamaat Dawa mein shamil ho jaye to aap bataye ki wo jamaat kaun si hogi the federal government in islamabad and the punjab provincial government are reportedly exploring ways to tighten the news around the jamaat and the lashkar even pakistani civil society appears to be emerging from its defensive shell we have seen half a said on different television networks so there is yeah few people are being the government claims is being arrested but the heads are still there uh, so Mixed signals continue to be going out from Islamabad, uh, which will invoke greater pressure. But the signs from the UN Security Council are mixed. While the diplomatic knives are out for Pakistan's Jamaat ud Dawa, with the consensus in favour of a ban, there is concern over how China plays its cards. Diplomats warned that thrice in the past, China has blocked moves at the Security Council to ban the Jamaat. The last as recently as August 2007. China's argument such a ban would hit NGOs doing good work while the clock ticks at the UN India remains hopeful let's see what the international community does we hope that they will respond positively to our request India is committed to finding a diplomatic way forward and is forging a response to Pakistan in coordination with the world's major players but as the air defense alert over delhi suggests this government retains the right to use other means and instruments if pakistan fails to deliver in new delhi atish abhi and isn't that the real danger that this government indian government reserves the right to take any means what it feels is fit to respond to this threat that's coming from across the border that is the debate tonight but the mumbai crime branch in the meanwhile has also confirmed that zakir rehman lashkar's head of operations is the real mind of the mumbai carnage the other key players being abu hamza Kahafa and Hafiz Said. But in spite of all this evidence that has been mounting, as we said, practically on a daily basis, Islamabad is still not willing to hand over terrorists to India. Pakistan's Prime Minister Yusuf Raza Gilani has reiterated that the suspects, if need be, would only be tried in Pakistan. Nazir Lakhvi ko aur iske alawa Zara Shah ko giraftar kiya hai. Aap iski tasdeeq karenge ya aap isko deny karenge? Dekhe, maine to na na maine deny kiya. میں نے صرف یہ کہا ہے کہ ان کو انویسٹیگیشن کے حوالے سے ان کو انہوں نے پکڑا ہے اگر ہم ان کے جو آئیڈینٹیفائی کیے ہیں لوگ اگر ہم انویسٹیگیشن آن اور اون ہم نے پہلے سے شروع کر دی ہے تو دیٹ از اے گڈ میسج اگر کوئی ریسپانسبل پایا گیا تو پھر ہم لا ول ٹیک اس اون کورس سو وائل دا گورنمنٹ سیمس ٹو ورک آؤٹ کیلیبریٹڈ اپروچ ٹو ورڈس پاکستان The arts and culture fraternity in India, the creative people are asking for stern steps. Swati Chopra gets you more. The Mumbai terror attack has left the entertainment industry taking sides. Recently, the Shiv Sena also announced that it would ensure that no Pakistani culture artist or player would be allowed to come and play in Mumbai or Maharashtra. Especially when Pakistani comes here, وہ بھلے وہ گانے کے لیے آئے ہو یا ایکٹنگ کے لیے ہمارے دیش کے لوگ ان کو اتنا اوپر اٹھاتے ہیں کیا یہی سین آپ کو پاکستان میں دکھائی دیتا ہے ایوری بڈی از ویلکم ایکسپٹ پاکستان دا سنگر ہیڈ ایون واکڈ آؤٹ آف اے ریالٹی شو وچ آر پاکستانی پارٹیسپینٹس آئی ریفیوز ٹو ڈو دا شو ویئر پاکستانی پیپل آر ٹیکنگ دا پارٹ 
Post the Mumbai attacks, Shiv Sanix reportedly also went on the sets of a popular comedy television show and threatened the producer to remove all Pakistani comedians performing on the show. The shoot for the grand finale eventually had to be postponed since two of the finalists on the show were from Pakistan. But the majority from the industry still believe that artistic talent and creative freedom should rise above terror politics. Music actually is a bomb. It's a healing touch. And I think, I think, uh, I think people should just keep politics and, and this entire religion and, uh, you know, borders and all out of music at least. We shouldn't uh, devalue our focus. We can't blame entire uh, national, in, in all community. It surely has taken a long time to build bridges across boundaries when it comes to talent. And such knee-jerking reactions at this point of time can only create a divide within the film and the television industry. Something that we all can do without at this crucial time. With Bureau Inputs in Mumbai, Swati Chopra.